Societal change takes time and effort, and on Thursday morning, some of the individuals involved in disturbances in the enterprise area made the effort to show that they're making alterations to their behavior. Led by Islamic friend Omar Abdullah, small tokens were distributed on the streets of the community. Marie Therese Bernard has more. Not a show of force today, but of love in the community, which had recently been ravaged by savage murders and gunfights. On Thursday morning, leader of the Islamic Front, Umar Abdullah, made a show of generosity and caring in enterprise as he and his brothers chose to deliver snacks, water and religious pamphlets to drivers in the area. You know, we have to be very critical of how it is we move forward and we have to, we have to constantly analyze ourselves and to understand the mistakes that we make. We can't afford to make those mistakes again. He said the change began three weeks ago and the Thursday's initiative is to nurture the transformation. We have to mark that day in history, in our history books, because that, I, I believe, was a turning point to the solution of crime and um, poverty and negativity in this country. Joining in the show of consideration, David Mohammed, the Eastern Caribbean representative of the Nation of Islam, told C News that society needs to look at the bigger picture. I mean, what we're doing in particular is planting seeds, um, spreading motivation and inspiration to others who may feel as if their backs are against the wall and they're troubled so much to the point where they have to resort to criminal behaviors. Um, there is, of course, a bigger picture to this in that there is rampant unemployment among the underclass in this society and so many of the young men. Mr. Mohammed said the larger perspective will give the authorities hints on how to keep the peace. But in spite of the fact that there is such high unemployment, there's still the persistence to build more police stations and have more national security when employment and education within itself would in the long run be or produce the byproduct of more security. Some residents were hopeful of change, while others say they will wait to see the outcome of Thursday's event, emphasizing betterment as opposed to bitterness. Mary Therese Bernard, C News. As the Majida Sir Salam were commonly called, unruly ISIS made an effort in enterprise on Thursday to change their image. The leader of the group, Abdul Bakil, told the media that they're committed to a more peaceful way of life now. It's like a whole different change around. It's a change around from something that how it was to something different. You understand? Now remember, a lot of the media stations, they've been giving us this name, unruly ISIS, and you know, that is not something we call upon ourselves. This is something that they gave us. You understand? And we really want to show the people that we is not of that. You understand? We is not no ISIS. We is not no robbers or no bandits or nothing like that. You know? As small as, it, as we could give back to the community, we're trying to do it. Wakil believes it will take time for the change to take hold. He says it's all about giving up pride and changing from the inside and most of all, realizing that they, as well as the community, will be the true beneficiaries of peace. He says that the recent fracas and those before were an eruption of their cry for help over the years. He was emphatic, however, that the ease with which they and others get guns is not their doing. He puts responsibility for breaking that easy access with the police and government. No, it might sound crazy what I'm going to tell you here, but you have to just look at it from my point of view. The guns were in the streets have nothing to do with the people that are living in the streets here. We are not the ones who bring in indie guns. You understand what I'm telling you? We do not have no money to buy them kind of guns where they say we have. You understand what I'm telling you? No. There is something upon the police and the government to do to get rid of the guns out of the streets. Because Trinidad do not, I never hear one time in my life a gun was made in Trinidad and Tobago. Wakil says he's committed to turning over a new leaf as he wants to be a better role model for the younger ones coming up in the community.